here are a few signs that that narcissist is about to discard you in the most cruel way possible. If you are still with that narcissist and you are trying to figure it out and fix it, here are a few signs that will tell you that you're not only wasting your time, but you are about to get discarded in the worst way possible. See, what the narcissist does is, the narcissist is usually very possessive. They are very, very hot and cold. They'll love bomb when they think that you're about to leave them. They'll breadcrumb, they'll hoover you back. And then once you come back, once they have you hooked, then they'll go back to discarding you, disrespecting you, disregarding you, and just gaslighting you and making you feel crazy, basically. But when the narcissist these signs that I'm about to tell you, when you start to see this, this is the sign that the narcissist is about to discard you, usually for good, okay? The narcissist will start doing these few things and this is how you can tell. And if you're smart, this is when you should reverse discard them, get up, leave, and don't look back because there's a, a little bit of strength and energy that you're gonna get if you were the one who did the discarding if you were the one who got up and get away it hurts a little less believe it or not I know it sounds crazy but it hurts a little less than you put in all your time all your effort all your years all your energy and then they still discard you that tops it off and it just sends some people completely to a mental home so look out for these signs. If you see these, there is a good chance that the narcissist is about to discard you. And again, in this case, probably for good. One of the signs is that their disrespect and disregard for you gets worse. It is at an all-time high. They don't even care about apologizing anymore. The fake apology, they don't do that. When you try to bring it up, they tell you they don't want to talk about it. They um, ignore your feelings. They argue with you. They, they become very, very disrespectful. The mask at this point has come all the way off and they don't care. And this is usually, usually when they have finally groomed and secured a new supply because the narcissist is not going to leave you unless they have a new supply the narcissist monkey branch jumps so they grab a branch they grab another branch before they leave this branch they grab that one they grab another one so they never their hands are never truly free which means they're never without supply they're never truly single they go from one branch to another just like a monkey that's how they go from branch to branch so when the narcissist has secured the new supply this is when they will discard you in the worst way possible and these are the things that you see like I said the disrespect becomes very very bad it's at a 10 at this point maybe even a hundred they don't do the fake apology anymore um, they don't they start acting different and the reason they're acting different is because they are now mirroring the new supply when they talk to the new supply the new supply is telling them oh I like my man to dress like this I like to do this I like to do that or maybe the the, the new supply is into a certain style she's into a cer certain things they start to mirror that new supply just like they mirrored you before so in doing that it appears to you that they act different they look different they are listening to new music they're dressing different they have different interests they have different ha hobbies that is because they are now marrying the new person remember narcissists don't have their own identity they don't have their own identity they have to mirror somebody else when whenever they get with a new person they become that person for two reasons they become that person because they don't have their own identity they also become that person because they know that that's what the person wants that's what the person wants to see so they start to be super disrespectful they're not intimate with you anymore they are 
like disgusted by you almost and they even the the bedroom activity is it's is different and it's cruel it's to satisfy them to to um to relieve them or they don't even pay attention to you in that way whatsoever they find you completely appalling and disgusting The cruelty that you see at the end of that relationship when they're about to discard you is on another level. Because again, at this point, the mask has come all the way off and they don't care. Because they already started the, the smear campaign, they know at this point that nobody's going to believe you. Because they've already told the story many different ways. And now people are looking at you. So when you finally get discarded and you think you're going to tell your story, people are going to look at you funny. The new supply is looking at you funny because he has told the new supply all kinds of things. He has told all the flying monkeys everything, any and everything. And the cruel thing about this is this is usually the point where you are trauma bond with this person. You are hooked. You have given your all and all and all. You are depleted. Your emotions are all over the place. You depend on them. And they know they have you right where they need you. Right where they want you. And they know that there's a good chance you're not going to leave at this specific moment. And that is the best place they have you this is when they will drop you i don't know if you've ever been to an amusement park there is a um a ride i think it's called a drop it takes you up slowly 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 until you get all the way to the top and then it just drops and i'm telling you when you're on that ride your whole inside like you can feel it you feel like this is it i'm falling to my my d like i'm falling to my own alignment that's how that discard is it's a drop it's not a, a slow and steady let down it's not a let's have a conversation i'm not ha it, no 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 and this this is the time when you are hooked when you have lost everything, when you are completely depleted, this is when they start acting different. This is when they don't even care to hoover you back. This is when they don't even care to apologize anymore, even though it's a fake apology. This is when they don't even care how you think, what you think, how you feel. You can cry them a river. They will swim in it. Gladly. These are some of the signs. When you see that the narcissist, when their abuse has gotten so bad, when normally it gets bad and then it goes back to normal and then they go back to hoovering and apologizing and changing and love bombing. But when you get to a point where the mask is fully off and they don't even care anymore to try to put it back on, that is when you are about to get discarded. And like I said, when you see these signs, if you are smart, You'll just get up and walk away. Get up and walk away. Because when you re reverse discard the narcissist, it hurts. It, it's going to hurt regardless, regardless of who does the discarding. But if they discard you the way they are about to, it's going to hurt like H-E whatever. It's going to hurt. But it hurts a tiny little bit, maybe like a 2% little bit less. Maybe not too, a lot more. It hurts a lot more less, if that makes sense, if you just got up and walked away. That confuses them. Walk away and stay away. It confuses them because now they're like, wait, what happened? How did she just, remember, you're their property. They don't expect you to leave. They don't expect you to be strong. They don't expect you to stand up for yourself and fight for yourself and have dignities and dignity and standards and all of that. They don't expect that. But you getting up and leaving, no questions asked, no argument, no asking for closure, no asking them to fix their behaviors, no asking for anything. You just get up, escape. That confuses them. 
But forget about them. We don't even care what happens to them. It's about you. Follow for more.